Taylor, do you have any idea what this is? Not a clue. Okay, well, I don't know if the people are being ripped off or they're trying to rip somebody off, if they're just dumb or if somebody sold them this, but they believe that this is a magical device. Just like this is a magical device, okay? Okay. And, and I'm kind of being disingenuous whenever I say that. They think this is a scientific tool or implement or machinery. Mm -hmm. What they say is that if you plug this into your house plumbing and you put water in this end and it's going to come out this end, but the water that goes in this end is going to come out and it's not going to be water. Instead of it being H2O on this end, okay. it's going to be H3O2 on this end. Okay. Which... I don't know how that transformation happens, but they say that it does, okay? And it doesn't happen instantly. You have to plug it in and let it run for about 30 seconds and it magically changes, or according to them through physics, changes it from H2O to H3O2, mm -hmm. okay? What they call gel water or living water. Okay. And they say that this water is absorbed into the body better and causes healing and solves all your ailments and hydrates you better and all of this. So they brought the devices to us to test. Okay. I have completed my testing. Okay. It doesn't work. Can I ask a question? Sure. What's, what's like, what's like, is there something special inside of it? I am so glad that you asked what is inside these magical things that make living water. Why don't you look in there and tell me what it is? Cause we've got three of them. Sir, those rocks. Those are rocks. Specifically, that is marbles made of quartz. I've got another one for you. It is also filled with marbles of quartz. And listen, they even sell one for your garden hose that's made of marbles made of quartz. So, <laughs> what they're selling is rocks rocks in a in pipe a, in a pipe okay. rocks in a pipe yeah okay and and these according to them will solve all of your health problems okay and make it to where your water is living do you believe for one instant that this does anything no okay so the best part is is they wanted us to check this by taking the water that gets put in on this end and having it come out on this end, and they wanted us to shine a UV light at it at a certain wavelength, and if it phosphoresces or glows under the UV light, then that will confirm that it's no longer water, it's living water. Okay, they think this changes with rocks. With rocks, okay. okay. Now, interestingly enough, the UV spectrum that they wanted it waved at, mm -hmm. okay, do you know what causes that spectrum to phosphoresce? Mm -hmm. Salt. Do you think there's any salt in here? Probably not. I checked. There's actually not salt in here. Okay. So their test to confirm that it's living water is because I can make any water with salt phosphoresce at that wavelength. Now, there's, there's, there's another thing. Okay. This is quartz, which comes from the earth. Okay, so if this worked, remember all of our water comes from beneath bedrock, okay? So wouldn't all the water on the planet eventually have to go past the quartz in the ground? Yeah. And then wouldn't it transform on its own? Yeah. Okay, so there's actually a scientist out there who's at a university and is saying that this shit works. And they're saying, of course it works because this scientist says that it works. Would you like to guess how many scientists say it doesn't work? All of them. Pretty much all of them. Like, pretty much all of them, okay? So they found that one guy. They found the one guy. Now, here's the best part. That one guy mm -hmm. owns the laboratory that confirms that this works. So he's selling his own stuff saying, <laughs> my stuff works. <laughs> yes, yes. Look, this laboratory that I own yeah. has confirmed that my stuff works. works. Like, huh. Looks like the wolf is guarding the hen house right there. Yeah. Okay, now. So, so I have a question. Okay. Whenever they brought this to you, uh -huh. how confident were they about 
this is gonna like you're gonna find us right dude they were a hundred percent confident that this was gonna well like like they were sure they they said that this was a function of physics and it had no choice but to work now here's the thing if if i was gonna convert h2o into h3o2 okay mm -hmm then I would need an intense amount of power to make that work because I'm gonna have to start splitting molecules or actually I just have to start combining molecules, okay? Mm -hmm. So where is the energy gonna come from to split the H2O molecules or to combine them? I mean, you're talking massive amounts of energy and all they're hooking this to is, is, a, is, is a garden hose, yeah. okay? So now, hey, to their credit, H3O2 does exist. Okay. Now, I haven't brushed up on my femtoseconds in a while, but would you like to take a guess, after scientists put a whole bunch of energy into water, how long they can theoretically get this water to exist in nature? 30 seconds. One one hundredth of a millionth of a second. <laughs> okay. In other words, the water goes to that and says, nope, not stable and goes right back to regular water. You can't make H3O2. Like, it doesn't happen. And here's the best part. What, if I handed you a glass of water and said, this is H2O, you would drink it, right? Yeah. If I handed you a glass of water and said, this is H3O2. I'm not drinking that. I'm not drinking that either, okay? Like, that doesn't sound like it would be very good for my body at all. No. Uh, Especially because H2O is good for you, yeah. and H2O2 will kill you. So let's not screw with the water, shall we? So you're one off from dying. <laughs> you're one off from dying, <laughs> and they want to change it even more. So, um, if somebody came up to you and tried to sell you this, okay? Would you even entertain buying it, having no. looked at it? No. Like, like not, I, not I even. I couldn't get you to buy that. No. What if you had cancer, and I told you that this water could cure your cancer? I'll give you about five bucks. <laughs> That's it. That's about maximum I'm giving you. <laughs> it's the price for scrap, yeah. and you can let your kids play with the marbles. Pretty much. Okay. Basically, I feel like if I got pulled over with this in my car, the cops gonna bring in the feds. I'm, I'm going to prison until they figure out what this is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. To anybody out there that is even possibly thinking about buying something to make themselves living water or uh, gel water or structured water, um, stop. Do not waste your money. Don't waste your time. It doesn't exist. It can't exist. And anybody who is trying to sell you that is a snake oil salesman and is there to take your money and prey on your ignorance and your vulnerability, and your desperation. Y'all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the video. The best way to support the channel is to head over to wellandsepticlife.com, pick up some merch or some Bio One for your septic tank. But whatever you do, don't buy these. Have a great day.